Hey, Wasabi, Operation iDroid here, and a new update has just come out for DSoid, and this is version 1.9.9, .9, and it features some speed and compatibility fixes. And you guys do not know how excited I am for these updates. DSoid might not be the best NDS emulator on the market right now, but it is the one with the most potential. Anyways, let's go right into our Google Play Store and update our DSoid. So I'm going to go into My Apps and then I'm going to click on DSoid to update the application. As you can see, there is an update. And when I scroll down, we will see what's new. So as you can see, it says some minor speed and compatibility fixes. So I'm going to go ahead and update it. And now that it is done updating and installing, I'm going to go ahead and open DSoid. And now I'm going to go into download where I keep my game and I'm going to open my Pokemon Diamond.nds file. And once the file opens, the first thing that I am going to check is if save states still work because the developer said that save states might not work from update to update. So I'm going to go ahead and check if these last save states from the prior update will work in this update. So I'm going to go ahead and load a save state and they do still work. So you don't have to worry about your save states not working. All right. So it said it had some speed and minor compatibility fixes. As far as I can see for now. I can't tell if there was a speed increase so I'm going to go ahead and start a speed test comparing this update to the next one right now. Alright so I have DSoid 1.9.9 .9 on the left and DSoid 1.9.7 and I started them at the same time walking down this little road here. And as you can see, DSoid 1.9.9 .9 is going slightly faster as the developer said in the description. So DSoid does have improvement in this update and I'm happy to see that it continues to improve. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Anyways, to stay updated with the latest NDS emulator news and for more information on DSoid updates, make sure to click on that green subscribe button. As well as if you would like to see Pokemon Blue Rescue Team running at full speed on DSoy, then click on the Nexus S's screen. Thanks for clicking that green subscribe button and welcome to the operation.